What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you what the offensive playbooks of the AFC North teams will look like in Madden 19. I put out some videos for two of the eight divisions so far and we'll be doing this for each one so be sure to keep an eye out for the video your favorite team gets featured in to get an inside look at what you'll be working with in the upcoming season. So leading off here we have the Baltimore Ravens offensive playbook and as you can see they underwent some very minimal changes. The biggest change in their playbook is probably the swap between strong eye slot and strong eye slot flex which is actually hilarious since the only difference is which wide receiver is set up on the line of scrimmage. Aside from that they carry over their formations from Madden 18 where they had in my opinion at least one of the best selection of single back formations uh, being one of the only books in the game with the single back tray formation. They have other solid formations throughout the playbook along with some unique iform sets so i would definitely say they are worth a look early on in the madden season if iform proves to be a little bit better this year a side note is that it will be very interesting how this playbook looks in madden 20 especially if lamar jackson gets a chance to play during the season and they end up going with more exotic looks to fit kind of his skill set next up we have the cincinnati Bengals playbook once again, not much being changed for this book with the one shining addition being that of the gun tight flex formation, which really rose to prominence in Madden 17, particularly with how good the PA post shot play was. Other than that, they have a solid variety of iform sets along with other solid sets from the past like Deuce Close and Bunch Week that we all know about. They also have both Gun Monster and Gun Monster Stack, so they have some gimmicks to play with if you want to pull out some weird stuff on offense. Another thing to note is that their Deuce Close contains the play 01 Trap and is one of only two books in the game that have it. The reason I bring it up is because that play is kind of being hyped up right now as possibly the best running play in Madden 19, so this will be a playbook that we'll, I'm sure, see play early on in the season. Third, we have the Cleveland Browns playbook. Once again, a moderate amount of changes for the Browns who brought over a new offensive coordinator in Todd Haley for the 2018 season. The biggest change at first glance is likely the addition of the gun trips tight end formation which has a lot of hype around it going into Madden 19 with the nerfs surrounding gun bunch weak leaving it as one of the premier passing formations in the game. If you are more of a single back type player then they have some nice two tight end and two receiver sets as well that you can jump between at the line of scrimmage with stuff like deuce close, deuce, ace, wing, wing stack and wing slot. Overall, it is an interesting playbook that I would say got an upgrade from Madden 18. Last but not least, we have the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook as they too bring in an offensive coordinator to replace Todd Haley, who like I just mentioned, went to Cleveland. As you can see here, their shotgun formations did not get touched, which I think is a great thing for this playbook as I personally think that they have had one of the more underrated playbooks in the game over the past few years. There were other minor changes to stuff like pistol, eye form, and single back, but nothing too crazy. Ideally, I would have liked to see them keep the single back trips formation as it is not a very commonly seen formation and added more uniqueness to the book, but them losing it is probably fine. One final thing to note is that the Steelers, along with the Bengals like I mentioned earlier, are the two playbooks in the entire game that have that deuce close 0-1 trap in it. So look for both of these books to see a lot of play early on. Personally, I think the Steelers is actually a little bit better and I think it could definitely be one of the hotter playbooks at the start of Madden 19. Well, that is going to do it for this video, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching, and be sure to subscribe for a ton of Madden 19 content for the upcoming season. As always, until next time, guys, take it easy.